haben. Where are you? What the hell is going on here? Charming prince. No. Shame. That'd be quite nice about now. I just threw up again. I'm really pregnant, aren't I? Can I stay here for a while? As long as you need. Morning. Morning. Been shopping? Yeah. I woke up early and I guess the old caveman instincts kicked in. Ah, uh, so hunting mama for breakfast then? Nah. They were all out. Scrambled eggs. Oh. That's a bit disappointing. For you maybe, but the Jenny's favourite. Mm, so she's pregnant then? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Don't know yet. And the job? No way. Not now. I couldn't do that. And besides, I don't think I want to anymore. Good. It means I'll have to track you down to whatever war zone you end up in just to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Breakfast. Well, it was meant to be special breakfast in bed, but you're not, you know, in bed anymore. Ah, oh, we can fix that. There. Where were you? Bathroom. And then you weren't here, so I went and had a chat with Raquel. Oh, any juicy gossip? Nah, not really. Just, you know, being pregnant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do spend an awful lot of time with Raquel. What do you mean? Well, you know, maybe we need to get a DNA test. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Dr. Benjamin. Oh, does it not? Hi, Neil. Hi. You're foul. Yeah, Kira needs some new trainers. Then we're going to see that new film, Defenders of the Galaxy or something. Oh, right. I wouldn't have thought that's your kind of film. No, it's not. But someone mentioned there was some romance running through it. There is? Yeah, kind of. Between a man and his assassin robot psychic. You didn't mention that bit. Well, no, because I didn't want you to say no. So what about you? Got any plans? My 
go out for a bike ride. Oh, okay. Something wrong? Oh, it's just nice to see you getting some fresh air. How long have you been doing that? Well, to be honest, today would be the first time in a long time. Well, watch out for buses then. The number of times I almost died under the wheels of the number 63. <laughs> okay, we'll do. Mom. Yeah, okay, sorry. Well, you enjoy yourself. And you too. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, bud. See you later. Bye. Hi there. Oh, hi. It's a bit early for you. Gardening, huh? What gave it away? So, can I ask you something? You can ask, sure. Where do you disappear to when you go to the basement? What do you mean? Well, you go downstairs and then you literally disappear. No sign of you anywhere. I mean, if you're a part-time magician or something, you can tell me. I won't judge. Ground control to Major Tom. Yeah. I just... Wait a second. Look, I don't really know how to... You can't tell anyone about this. Promise. Cross my heart, seal of the confessional. Maybe, maybe it'd be easier for just show you. Okay then. Basement. Basement. Hey, Tom. Yeah? You haven't got a lion in there, have you? Um, no. How about a witch? <laughs> no. <laughs> Nor does it lead to a snowy world filled with talking animals and Turkish delight. Ah, oh, shame. I quite like Turkish delight. So, are you sure about this? Are you kidding? To get this far and not find out will kill me. Get that door open now. Okay. So how did you start down this road? Some people at the care home mentioned it. Me and my mum talked about it, and she wanted to give it a go. Really? Just like that? Your mum was okay with it? Mm, she was a photographer in the 80s. I'm pretty sure there's lots of things she's okay with. So anyway, I bought some, she tried it, it worked. But how did you go from there to Gardener's World? I just did some research. Found out the different strains so I knew how to grow it myself. Asked around, read some books, and I found out an awful lot of stuff on the internet. So is that your first batch? No, I, I did one as a test. Went a bit wrong. Then I tried a couple, and they turned out all right. So I ramped it up a bit. What next? Lord of the Jungle? <laughs> I don't think I need to go that far. What's there should last her a good six months, maybe a year. Is there anything I can do to help? You don't happen to have two ground line about, do you? Fuck no. What do you need that for? Oh, don't worry about it. It's my stupid fault. Tell me. Remember when I said I asked around? Turns out I should have been more careful. There's a guy blackmailing me. Two grand or he turns me in. Is this the Weasley looking scumbag who turns up at the party? That's him. Neil almost clunked him one. Good on Neil. Well, we could go one further. You can mix cement, right? How's about a new patio? Oh, <laughs> God. I'd love to. But I think that's a little extreme as well as, you know, wrong. Right. Wrong. Sometimes it's so hard to tell.
You're back. We are. How's Daniel? Mm, bit busy. He's got his mock A levels in a few weeks, but he seems good. He, uh, he asked after you. Ah, did he now? Of course he did. You glided into his life with your artsy ways just when he was starting to notice girls for the first time. <laughs> He's had you on a pedestal ever since. Ah, what it is to be adored. Well, you're too old for him, so you just stay up on that pedestal out of reach or I will hurt you. Don't say that. She'd probably enjoy it. Spoil sport. And how's your dad? Oh, he's fine. And I tell you, he has not lost his touch in the kitchen. Ooh, roast. Lamb. Nice. Dessert? Homemade sponge pudding. Syrup. Oh, yeah. Custard? Of course. Wait, are you two just friends with me because of my dad's cooking? No. Of course not. There's more reasons than that. Yeah, there's more... Lots of reasons. Yeah. Lots. Lots. I hate you both. Did you bring any back? Oh. Hi, Harry. Hello. I think he's almost ready. I'll go call him. Uh, actually... We talk first. Um. Okay. Let's go in the living room. Fine. I want to know when you're coming home. I. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I'm still trying to work some things out in my head. Like what? Look, Kieran needs you. He's had to eat jam butties at school and chippy teas all last week. God knows where his pee kit is. It's under the stairs, where it's always been. The house is falling apart, Linda. You know, I can't work that washing machine. And the neighbours keep asking when you're going to be back and how your mum is. Why? What did you tell them? That she was sick and you were looking after her. Well, maybe you shouldn't lie to the neighbours then. And when you go round to apologise, maybe you can ask them to teach you how to do some shopping and use a washing machine. Kieran, your dad's here. Coming. Mind if I join you? Sure. Kieran's nice. Smart. Funny. Yeah. I don't know where he gets it from. I know exactly where he gets it from. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I miss him. So much. What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, my choices are either I'll go back and be miserable, or try and make a new life and only have Kieran part time. Well, there is a third option. What do you mean? Go back home to your life, to your son and then just get rid of everything that doesn't work. And um, what about, you know, my husband? Well, give him a chance if you want. Marriage counselling, maybe. Mm -hmm. But if he doesn't put in the effort to change, get rid of him as well. Wow. That's just, wow. I've never even thought of that. It's kind of the grab the bull by the horns approach. <laughs> it can get a little messy. But sometimes it's just the best way. Well, yeah. I'll have to think about it. Now this is what makes you fully qualified in my eyes, 43. Nicely done. Oh, hey, Doc. Hi, Neil. How's it going? Good, yeah, really good. Glad to hear it. Oh, you were right about the bike. It's knackering, but, yeah, relaxing as well. Good. 
I'm glad it's doing something for you. Is there anything else you think might help? Well, you could go to a gym or try something like yoga or tai chi. Oh, not sure about yoga, man. Yeah, me neither. But it seems to work for some people. But I think what you really need is just to talk to someone. Well, I don't know. It doesn't have to be a doctor. You know about support groups. Well, you mean the things alcoholics go to? Yeah, but there's groups for all sorts of things, including anger management. You don't have to talk, you can just listen. But if you do want to talk, it'll be to people who understand exactly what you're going through, because they've lived it as well. It might help just to know you're not alone. That sounds, um... Sounds okay. I've got some details of a few local groups. I'll, I'll dig some out for you. Yeah. Yeah, that, that... That might be good. Thanks, Doc. Anytime, Neil. You look miles away. Yeah. Something on your mind? Yeah. Well, why don't you tell the good doc all about it? Oh, it's nothing really. Just take about two grand to fix. Holy shit. Well, what have you done now? Oh, it's not me. Okay. Some Nigerian prince needing a plane ticket? No. It's Tom. What about Tom? He's got himself into a little bit of trouble. Tell me. Okay. What's up, Doc? It looks serious. We need a chat. About what? Firstly, your secret dope room in the basement. Shh. And then, this dodgy scumbag who's been blackmailing you. You've been talking to Rukal? I have, yeah. Why haven't you been talking to me? Doc, I didn't want to get you involved. So? You should have been talking to me. What's up? Can I borrow a camera? What's wrong with the one on your phone? It's digital. Doesn't seem to work. I want to try film. Okay. What are you doing? You won't laugh. Cross my heart. I've had weird dreams. Strange feelings. Deja vu. I, and I've been seeing things in the corner of my eye. But when I look, there's nothing there. Sounds like a typical Sunday morning to me. And the camera? Well, okay. I was looking on the internet uh -oh. and read about capturing ghosts and things on film. Right. Was this next to the royal family of lizard people? No. I just thought I'd test this one out, scientifically. Well, I've been on the internet as well. Uh-oh. Touché. I was on the NHS website and then some medical papers. Oh. And they said that certain hormonal changes... Okay. Oh. Oh, right. Well, it can cause some drugs to stop working. Okay. Drugs like the one you've been on since you were nine? Oh, fuck. Yeah. So... Do you still want that camera? Fuck it. Why not? Might as well play Ghostbuster for a bit. Might distract me. <laughs> sure thing. I'll dig something out for you in a bit. Thanks. And if you need anything else, who are you gonna call? <laughs> well, why would I need to call anyone when I've got you? Gail has a point. Could 
Could it be that young Jenny can actually sense things outside of her normal time frame? Interesting. Hi, young mum. Hello, love. To what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, nothing really. I've got an hour or so before I start my shift, and I know you're always up at the crack of dawn, so I thought I'd ring up the old homestead. See how the butler was getting on. A cheeky. You <laughs> know we had to let the butler go. He had a terrible habit of stealing policemen's helmets. I thought that was Bertie. It was, dear. Well remembered. Well, they were my bedtime stories. Yes, and very enjoyable they were too. Better than Meg and Mog, anyway. Anyway, so what's new with you, Mum? Oh, not much. Your dad's talking about retiring again. Really? I never thought he'd retire. When? Well, he says, uh, maybe a year, two. But then he wants to work on his handicap. <laughs> okay. Um, what about you? You ready to hang up your stethoscope and spurs as well? Oh, I know plenty of life left in this old girl yet. Besides, I hate golf. I know. I don't know what he sees in the game. Anyway, I think the thing with your dad's retirement, though, is the practice. Well, can't you just get someone in? Well, he does have someone in mind, actually. Oh, good. Who? It's you. What? Really? Well, that's what he says. So, what do you think? Well, if I was maybe ten years older, then I'd jump at the chance, but now? I don't think it's really where I saw myself going. Well, that's fine, love. I know exactly what you mean. I shall tell him he should start looking elsewhere. Sorry? Oh, don't apologise. You need to think of yourself and what you want to do with your career. Thanks, Mum. Well, that's OK, love. So, how's uh, Sarah getting on? Only an archer. Be cool. Relaxed. Aloof. That's it. Nailed it. Thanks, Ray. Right. What if one of the things she thinks she's been seeing around the house is actually you? This could be a problem. What are you doing out here? Oh, I... I, I thought I heard something. Must have been a cat. And, uh, why the camera? Oh, it's... it's something for Raquel. Something, uh, arty? I think so. I don't really know. Um, you know when Kieran was here? Yeah. 
I uh, overheard him talking with Raquel about that doll of hers. Oh, oh, right. And uh, Raquel called the doll Megan. Oh, that was her friend, wasn't it? The one who died. Yeah, it was. I um, I just thought it was odd. I mean, I didn't say anything, not in front of Kieran, but I thought I'd better tell you. No, I understand. Leave it with me. I'll, I'll talk to her about it. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Sorry, Ray. I'm just on my way now. Um, yeah, I'll grab it now. Um, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Didn't bust any ghosts, but I've left the camera in the dark room. Great. Well, I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Bye. That note could prove very useful, 43. Let's hope it's still there. Morning, Neil. Uh, morning. Uh, do you know what time it is, Linda? Yeah, sure. It's half ten. Oh, shit. I'm bloody late. Do you want a lift? Is that okay? It's fine with me. Go get dressed. I'll get the car oh, started. You are bloody brilliant, you are. I know. Are you okay down there? Uh, yeah. I just... What have you lost? Wedding ring. I took it off to do the dishes, then knocked it off the top and it rolled under here. Okay. I think I see it. Hold on a second. Almost. Almost. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Though we should probably stand up now. Okay. I was on my knees, about to give you a ring. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit fast, even for me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much. No problem. Who's this? Your accountant? I'm Tom's friend. Ah, well done, Tanky. You've got a friend. I'm also a doctor. Oh, that's handy. Because Tank will need one if he hasn't got my money. There you go. And that's what I'm talking about, Tanky. Wait, what is this? £200. Two grand, Tank. I want my two grand. Where's the rest? That's all I've got. And for the help you gave him, that's a fair payment. A consultancy fee, really. I don't want no fucking consultancy fee. I want my two grand, or the drug squad get a call and they come break your door in. I do realise it's medicine. For my mother. And if you really love your mummy, tanky boy, you better find the money. You've had all the money you're gonna get. You better shut the fuck up, Doc, or you're gonna end up in the fucking hospital yourself. Do you know Big Mick? You yeah, what? Runs that club down Brunswick. Controls most of the drug trade in the city. Quite a legendary temper as well, I heard. Yeah, I know Mick. He's got a young daughter. I was on A&E when he brought her in. She was convulsing and foaming at the mouth. He carried her in his arms the whole way there. And your point is? Well, I didn't know who he was then. I found out later. So when he said to me, Doc, you saved my little girl. You ever need anything, you just ask. I didn't think anything of it. But I'm thinking about it now. I think if Mick found out you were talking to the police, oh, that'd be bad. But if I told him you were blackmailing a friend of mine who was just trying to look after his sick mother, that'd be so much worse. Okay. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay. I'll take the fucking consultancy fee. And we'll hear no more about it. As long as Mick don't hear nothing. That's the deal. That's the deal. Good. Glad we could come to an agreement.
So, how'd it go? The duck was amazing. He pulled some serious Godfather level shit. Really? Yeah. About how he'd saved some gangster's daughter, and he owed him big time. Bloody hell. Shame it wasn't true. What? Well, the story was true. It just didn't happen to me. Let's just say there's a consultant at the hospital who drives around in a very nice car. So, you bluffed him? Pretty much. Remind me not to play cards with you. Uh, how the hell did you stay that calm? Part of my job is, is, you know, delivering bad news. Really devastating news. So compared to that, you, your Weasley little blackmailer wasn't even on the same scale. You got a promise though. Not a word of this gets back to Jenny, okay? Sure thing. Raquel? I can't promise that. You can't tell her. I'm not planning on it, but she's my best friend. If a judge that she needs to know, then I'll have to tell her. I can't think of any circumstances where she'd need to know, but I can't promise not to. So, you won't tell her unless you absolutely have to? That's right. That's good enough for me. Good. You got another beer? Oh, yeah, yeah, sh sure. gonna do? Hmm? Oh. So, what is it? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely something on the negative. Could be double exposure. But it's only on the last two photos. Which is weird. Never seen anything like it. What did you see when you took it? I didn't see anything. Not really. I could just... It was like I was catching a glimpse of a sound or hearing a colour. Sounds a bit like synesthesia. What's that? Certain people's senses seem to be connected. So when they're listening to music, they might also see colours, or they can read a book and taste the words. <laughs> Sounds like the effect of some drug. Well, yeah, but a lot of people have it all the time. It's just normal to them. Usually they're quite surprised when they find out other people do. Okay, but that doesn't explain the photo. No, it does not. I think I'm gonna need your help. Whatever you need. I'm gonna stop taking the pills. Well, they don't seem to be working anyway. Yeah, well, I'm not taking any others either. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna see what happens. But if I get overwhelmed or I can't tell what's real and what isn't... Don't worry. I'll be there to catch you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? I, I, I heard something. That you'd been calling that doll of yours Megan? What have I told you about that day? You told me about Megan running across the road. The car and that you were holding the doll when it happened. The doll wasn't mine. It was Megan's. She'd just gotten a new one, so she didn't want to play with it anymore. But when I tried to, she said that I wasn't allowed. 
because the doll had been naughty. It was just some silly game. But to me, the doll was lonely. She'd been discarded, abandoned by her best friend. I couldn't stand it. So I grabbed the doll and I just ran. I was gonna save her. I was gonna look after her and play with her. I was gonna be her friend. I ran straight across the road without looking. Megan chased after me. And that's when the car hit her. It was three days before I could even let go of the doll. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to lose you. Oh, you bloody idiot. That's never gonna happen. Get rid of the doll. I can't. You can. You need to. Every time you look at it, you're reopening that wound over and over again. She'd be alive if it weren't for me. You didn't kill her. The guy doing 60 in a 30 zone But it's my her. fault. No. No, it's not. You were seven, for Christ's sake. You had no idea that would happen. You were a bloody good friend. Best friend I've ever had. You shouldn't be fucking torturing yourself. Let it go. Let her go. We've been together a long time, you and me. But Jenny thinks I should let you go. And I think she's right. But you can't go out there with no clothes on. Give me an hour or so, and I'll have a dress for you. Then we'll go down the charity shop and see if we can get you a new family. Excellent, 43. But don't forget, you might have to undo these resolutions to get a better ending for more of the housemates. Hey. Hello. Got any plans for tonight? Just a little pruning. Well, I was thinking... Uh-oh. I'd like to meet your mum. Oh, well, my pruning was finishing off another batch to take to her tomorrow. Well, you can take me instead. And I'm sure she'd love to see her son and not just her supplier. You know what? Why not? Good decision. Then I can weasel all your embarrassing childhood secrets out of her. Wait a minute. Too late. I'll see you later. Forget 43. It's not just these six people you're trying to save here. After 20 generations, the average person can have over a million descendants. Save one life far enough back in time, and you can save the entire human race. Hey, have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? I, uh, I'm gonna be moving out. Oh, man. That's a shame. Mm. Well, it's been really nice having you here. It's been really nice being here, but it was always gonna be temporary, just till I could figure things out. Yeah, I know. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going home tomorrow. But things are gonna change. 
What do you mean? I mean, I'm not putting up with it anymore. He can't cook, he can't shop, he's never cleaned or done any laundry in his life. We don't talk or do anything except watch the bloody telly. And he's always too tired to do diddly squat in the bedroom, or hell, in any bloody room. So he either shapes up or he ships out. Wow. You're kicking ass and taking names. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Linda? Hi, Harry. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm uh, coming home tomorrow. To stay? To stay. Oh, thank God. I... I just... I just want things to go back to how they were. Well, I don't. What? Things are not going back to how they were, Harry. What do you mean? Well, for starters, I'm going to teach you how to use the bloody washing machine. Yeah. Yeah, OK. And I think we need to see a marriage counsellor. OK. Whatever you want. Oh, and uh, we need to start having sex again. What? We do? <laughs> it's been six months, Harry. Longer if we only count the times you've stayed away for. No. No, it can't be. Can it? It bloody well is, Harry. Shit. Look, I'm sorry, I... Mm. I didn't realise. Six months, wow. Mm. Well, it's OK. We'll talk about okay. it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I'm glad you're coming home. Yeah, me too. Student union so fucking shit. It's like school disco plus. That is the charm, man. It's like proper drinking, but with training wheels. And anyway, Tuesday night is promo night. Oh, what's on? Vodka. And the ladies love the vodka. Oh, all right then. But if it's really shit, then we're moving on. That's all I'm asking, man. Dip your toe in and see how the water is. Okay. Oh, wallet. Keys. Phone. Toes. Let's go. After you, comrade. No, oh, wait a minute. Is this just an excuse so you can try and chat up women with a silly Russian accent? Of course it is. I got a wicked Russian accent, me. It's right up there with Sean Connery. Oh, God. Now I really need a drink. Bathroom's all yours. Jen? Earth to Jen. Come in, oh, Jen. sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? Bathroom's free. Grab it while you can. Right. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Something on your mind? Yeah. I think... I think my pills have stopped working. Oh. Right, that's... Possible, I suppose. You've got massively increased levels of hormones running through you. How are you feeling? Good. Great, in fact. Yeah. That'll be the hormones as well. We'll get some alternative medication. Th that's the thing. I don't want it. I think that's a bad idea. Why? I've been on these bloody things since I was nine years old. What if I really don't need them? Well, I've talked to your dad, remember? Everything he describes sounds like early onset schizophrenia. I, I was grieving for my mum, for Christ's sake. Oh look, a little girl in pain making a lot of noise. Give her some pills to shut her up. I don't think it was like that. Oh really? Were you there? I'm not saying I want to stop for no reason. And I'm not doing it on my own. I've got you, I've got Raquel. She said some of the symptoms I've been having sound like synesthesia. That's unlikely and extremely rare. And Raquel is hardly a medical professional. Oh, fuck I'm you. I'm just saying, let's be on the safe side. We'll get you back on some new medication and then once that's settled we could try slowly lowering the dose and see what happens. You're Stop. fucking kidding, right? I'm not on anything right now and you want to drug me back up to my eyeballs. Fuck off. Jen. No, fuck off. I don't even want to look at you right now. Jen. Get out. <laughs> 